Hi everyone. All right, so I am updating you guys again on where I'm at in this adoption process, foster to adopt. Um, I, as you guys have know, know, if you've been following me, I did have to move. And this video, I'm gonna show you guys my new place. I'm gonna tell you, break down a little bit more why I'm in a new place and where I'm at with this foster to adopt journey. It's almost, almost finished. Let's get started. Let's just get started. Okay, so before we get started, I want to share with you guys something I'm doing in addition to my YouTube channel. If you don't know this about me, I actually have a podcast on iTunes and Spotify and every other podcast platform that you can find podcasts, the show's there. It's called LGBTQ Stories and what we do is document the real life stories of people in the LGBTQ community. Um, what I'm doing on that show is also creating a series which is called Kevin Adopts on that show. So if you want to follow more of a story narrative format of my adoption journey, you can just go search for the podcast LGBTQ Stories and you'll be able to see the series Kevin Adopts and you can follow me there as well. So that's that. Another thing, if you guys can like and subscribe to my channel, it will help me out a lot. That's just a simple, easy way that you can support people on YouTube. Now, let's get started in this video. So when I decided that I was gonna do this Foster to Adopt, I've explained this a little bit, but I wanna go into a little bit more details and tell you guys uh, where I'm at. So I had to move. Now, the reason that I had to move was because when you are fostering, you are allowed to have a child that's newborn up to the age of two in your bedroom with you. So, uh, you know, as we all know, babies sleep in cribs in their parents' rooms anyway. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. I did live in a one bedroom detached guest house. Well, there was two issues. One, we had a pool there. When the woman from the foster agency came to my home, she, said you have a wonderful place, however you have a pool. So to be able to foster, you're gonna to need to put a fence up around the pool. The fence has to be five feet high and has to be opening, has to open outward and it has to lock. So at first my landlord was not having, was not very interested in doing that. Um, you know, they didn't wanna put a fence around their pool, which I get it. Like, if you don't wanna do that, you don't have to do that. However, so I knew I was gonna have to move. Then like probably two and a half weeks into this whole process, my landlord comes to me and he says, hey, by the way, we've thought about it. We can put a fence around the pool. It's no big deal. Kevin, you just have to pay for it. I was like, okay, this is wonderful. I got really excited. Well, that day he ended up calling his insurance, homeowner's insurance company and telling them, you know, one of his renters is gonna have a child. And they said, well, to do that, if you have any renters with children, your premium is gonna go up. And so it just didn't work out. And I don't blame him. Like that's, that's not a life decision that he was making, it was me. So uh, it just didn't work out. Thankfully, my old landlord is fantastic and wonderful. And I was a great renter. We have a great friendship and relationship. There is no animosity. He is excited about this journey for me. And he let me out of my lease early with no penalties. Um, so that is what brought me into this current place that I'm at. So I did uh, move. I'm very happy where I'm at. It's in a wonderful location. It's very walkable, right like in the center of everything. Uh, it'll be fantastic to have a newborn and walk, you know, walk them in, in their uh, stroller and things like that. It's just a wonderful spot. So in this video, I'm gonna take you to see what is that, buddy? What's all that going on? You got... Hold on. Come here. Come here. You have like a hairball or something? You want to come up? Man, Lake just like started heaving. Oh, it's okay. You okay, buddy? You okay? So, okay, we'll do this with Lake here. I'm going to <laughs> get me ready for parenthood, I guess. Mm, I know, buddy. Okay, so I'm going to take you around my apartment. It's not huge, but it's new and I'm excited for it and show you guys. I did just move in. It's a little bit messy still. I'm still putting some things away, but uh, let's let's see this and yeah. Okay, let's go. You're gonna get down now? No. 
Oh, I love this boy. Okay, go ahead, get down. Let's go, guys. Hi, buddy. Hi. Okay, so here, we're walking in the front door. I'm in the front, at the front entrance right now. And as soon as you walk in, you've got your kitchen over here. I guess, you know, nice long galley kitchen. Wonderful, brand new appliances. All these appliances are brand new. Um, and the best thing is I have a dishwasher, which I did not have at my old place and is gonna be fantastic because of sterilizing bottles and things like that for the baby. However, I need to be better at using that dishwasher. So I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I have my little work area over here. I've got my whiteboard that I'm about to, I've ordered on Amazon that's coming. And there's a balcony out here, which I utilize. I put my cat's box out there. I put my bicycle out here. I also purchased a cover for the bike for the rain. And I wanna get one of those little things for the child to ride on the back. And you come out here and you just see beautiful, beautiful Sherman Oaks. Okay, so I'm turning around here and I'm going back inside, little office area, kitchen. Look at this, my niece, my niece and nephew, they drew me some pictures last time I was home. I took those home. And so there's the front door and you come, come back through and here's the living room area. And look at that. That is something that was donated to me. I'm gonna do a whole new video about the things that have been donated to me. So I'm excited about that uh, stroller and car seat situation. Now, over here, we've got the living room area. My sofa is fairly large. It was a longer L-shaped type of deal sectional. However, I couldn't use the whole thing. So I am getting rid of the corner piece. Now, what I love about this place is there's a second balcony and it's even larger. Now, here we've got pavilions. It will be easy to go to the grocery store, last minute stuff. And all of this is the beautiful Hollywood Hills, right in Sherman Oaks. That's Ventura Boulevard. Everyone who lives in LA knows how wonderful Ventura Boulevard is. And then we come over here. We've got the bedroom. Guys, don't judge me. I'm still getting used to this whole setup situation. This here, another item that was donated to me for the baby to sleep in. Taking a little nap, you wanna have them on the bed or something like that, keeps them situated. And then the crazier thing, oh my goodness, a crib. It's being utilized to just keep things in right now. I'm, it, the crib was donated, this was donated, it's to wash the baby in the bathtub. This wonderful thing here was donated to rock them and it vibrates for them to keep them, you know, nice and comfortable and relaxed. So I haven't even purchased a, uh, any linens or anything like that for the crib yet because I don't know if they're gonna place me with a boy or a girl and, you know, I also wanna, I did think that I could get gender neutral colors or, who says a boy can't have pink and a girl can't have blue? Um, I'm gonna hold off on it because I'm not exactly sure where I'm at with that. And it is something that even in my last podcast, I had someone on named Kyle Myers who is raising their child with they, them, their pro, uh, pronouns and didn't assign a gender. But you know, that's a whole nother conversation for another time. I'm holding off on that. And then we have the bathroom over here. It's just a bathroom. So. That is the place. This room is fairly large. It is going to work out perfectly well for myself and the baby. And all the donated things are wonderful. I think I've shown this before, just like these little things I purchased. I did not get a lot because again, I don't know this, the age of the child that they're going to place me with. However, oh, this is so cute. I can't handle it. Oh my goodness gracious. So, I'm just letting it, I just purchased a couple things because I know the baby will probably be pretty young and it's gonna be a last minute situation where they have to, um, where I have to go pick up the child. So I don't want any judgment. I'm a little embarrassed that the place is not fully put together, but look, we've all got busy lives and I'm sure those that are parents know that even moving with kids is a lot. So um, 
that's the place. I'm really excited about this. The next step for me is to finish out some classes. I am about halfway through. After I do my classes, I believe I have to do a home study. They have to come here, check out this place once, and they're gonna do a huge, huge home study where they basically evaluate everything in my life from the day I was born till present. And she said that takes about a week for her to write that up. And then I get my license and I can get a call the next day. Things are exciting. If you guys have not had the opportunity to donate to the GoFundMe, I would really appreciate that. We are at $1,205 so far. I have a goal of $4,000. It's just going to help me with purchasing things when the baby comes because the day that they they say, come pick up this child, I literally need to go on Target's app, buy everything based off of that child's you know, age and what they need and require. And I'm a single guy doing this. And while I do have an income, I think it would still be very helpful to have, you know, whatever I can get the support that I need for this process and ongoing things for the child. We all know that children get expensive. So if you guys can help, just go to gofundme.com forward slash Kevin adopts. Please make sure you subscribe, comment below. I love the support. As I've shared before, it can be really scary being a single person looking to adopt a child and being a gay man looking to adopt. You don't know what people are thinking and, uh, and, and that's something that we struggle with. So encouraging comments below really, really, really does mean the world to me. Um, thank you guys for watching. That's it for today. I will have another video soon. Um, follow me on Instagram at Kevin Adopts. I post videos and things there as well. Bye.